Sports Extra on News 3 starts right now. It's a mid-season state of mind. We're lacing up those football cleats. The high school football season is flying by. It's already week five. I can't even believe it. The matchups are getting tougher. No better way to start than tonight with a huge rivalry matchup. Fans piling in from both towns to cheer on their teams. Let's start with that. Christopher traveling to Cesar Valier, Waltonville to take on the Bearcats in the Battle of Highway 148. A rushing, rushing touchdown by running back Brock Shell put the Red Devils up 7-0 early, and Cesar didn't look back from there. Quarterback Carson Hofford threw a touchdown to wide receiver Eli Schoenbacher, making it 14-0. In the second half, a, or second quarter, a pile of Bearcats managed a fumble recovery after quarterback Colt Packer coughed the ball up. Bearcats didn't get any points in that takeaway, though, and Red Devils Brock Shelf running for his first of the night. Still in the second, Shelf continues his big day with a second touchdown run, making it 28 0. Cesar got the ball back after another quick three and out by the Bearcats. Running back Jordan Reynolds ended the half scoring this touchdown run with less than two minutes left in the half. Cesar goes on to win this one big 42 0 over the Bearcats. Highway 148 sign going back home to Cesar Valier Waltonville. Hamilton County hosting El Dorado tonight on the opening drive for the Eagles. They go for it on fourth and one, but the Foxes get into the backfield and force a fumble. Number 22, Hunter Rhodes comes up with it, gets brought down inside the five yard line. On the next play, Wyatt Richards fights his way into the end zone, put the Foxes on the board. They decide to go for two. Wyatt adds to his stats for the night. Foxes are up eight nothing. Eagles with the ball now, number 24, Josh Owens hauls in this bomb, puts them on the board. Two point conversion caught by Boston Bradley, makes this a tie game, but it wouldn't stay tied for long. Aaron Allen runs through tacklers and somehow manages to stay on his feet, fights his way into the end zone, a failed two point conversion, makes this a 14-8 ball game. El Dorado could never quite get back into it, and the Foxes win big 38-14. Our River to River Game of the Week takes us to Superman's home of Metropolis. Massac County hosting Harrisburg on Military Appreciation Night, honoring our region's veterans and first responders. Opening kickoff, Bulldogs let the ball hit the ground before grabbing it. Big mistake. Patriots knocking the ball loose. Recovering the fumble, great defensive play, good field position to start, but they couldn't capitalize. Second possession for the Patriots, third and long from the Bulldogs 24. Senior Luke Miller swallowing up the QB, both teams scoreless after one. Second quarter, Patriots up 8-0, closing seconds of the half. It's Josh Gilbert lobbing up for Reed McQuan. 15 yards makes it 14-0, but the Bulldogs storm back to spoil military night for the Patriots. Harrisburg 30 to 22 over Massac County in overtime. Next, the Murfreesboro Red Devils taking on the Heron Tigers. Murfreesboro's Cameron Everest shoots it right up the middle for a huge rushing touchdown, adding to the Devils' lead. The Red Devils are back, and this time with a reverse. That fakes out our photographer, Calvin Clemens, fights his way to the end zone and jumps up just short giving his brother, Devin Clements, the chance to rush it in for the touchdown brotherly teamwork there. Tigers don't give up though. Heron QB Evan Young keeps it, runs behind his blockers, finds the end zone. Murfreesboro will take this one 35-14 over Heron. Let's head out to Carterville at Anna Jonesboro. First quarter, Carterville's Andrew Hellregel hands off to Townsend Barden, five yards for the touchdown. It's 8-0 Carterville. AJ's defense, Josh Davis gets the interception. Huge play. Carterville's defense, though, Ivan Jones gets to the quarterback for the QB sack. Both teams playing well on that side of the ball. AJ doesn't give up. Offense kicks it into high gear. Gavin Osman over the top. Great throw to Zach Stokes. 62 yards for the touchdown. It's 8-8 all tied up. Carterville's Andrew Hellregal hands off to Nolan Hartford. 
takes off. Nobody's going to catch him. 31 yards for the touchdown, 15-8. Final, Carterville gets this one done, 35-14 over Anna Jonesboro. Looking ahead, Benton takes on West Frankfurt tomorrow afternoon. Kickoff is scheduled for noon. And we'll have more scores and highlights coming up. But first, the Mastac County Band will take us to break. You're watching Sports Extra, News 3 at 10.